manage learning. And um, as Ian was pointing out, we need to know what our, our clients require. Not, not just their business sector, but maybe their, their, their specific, specific company um, and specific vocabulary and expertise within that. Um, but we also, we act as coaches, and I, I find that many business learners of business English are not natural, well they're certainly not academic, many of, us come, many of them come to us in total fear, thinking they're going to go back to a classroom where they as entrepreneurs were completely belittled and felt frustrated as, as when they were younger. So we, we, we can actually find ourselves coaching sort of personal style. So it's, it's a whole mix. It's a really, really diffuse fusion of expertise that I think we can bring to what we do. And I think we should be charging more for it, but that's another thing. Um, so, <coughs> yeah. so also as language teachers, we do have to, as Ian pointed out, we do have to know how to deal with, for instance, pronunciation features, with, with grammar, with lexis, and so forth. Um, and we do need to know the balance between um, perfect English and English which we use to communicate in, in a global context. And, and uh, again, Ian said so much that I totally agree with, like, you know, a French person should have a French accent, that's fine. Um, and it's only an issue when it when there is a communicative kind of mismatch um, with speakers of, of other languages. Um, but really, I don't have a lot more to say except that. <laughs> do you want to comment on that? <laughs> no, 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 I think you're doing very well. <laughs> Actually, it's all on the slides, but I've said it's all in the wrong order. So basically, <laughs> this. <laughs> no, no, but this is. This is something that the, the, the okay. slides here is, is basically what we would like to explore. This is what we're going to explore. This okay. <laughs> we, we, you know, we actually should have talked about this before we. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay. So, so. <laughs> she knows what she wants to say. She doesn't always know how to say it. <laughs> I'm somewhat random. That's my particular stuff. Okay. So basically, we're going to be looking at, at the functions of the brain, and so the, the three basic divisions of the brain and. Um, the relevance that has to training in general, let alone uh, language training and language training for business. Um, then if you could go on. <laughs> my, my, yes. my father-in-law is um, nearly 87. My mother-in-law is 81. I know what's coming. And she, she can be a little bit random on occasion. She's That's totally random. Yeah, yeah. My father and my father-in-law still plays golf three times a week, and he's really alert, really physically active. And he says the thing that keeps his brain going is trying to work out what his wife is going to say next. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep my husband's brain <laughs> going and yours. Okay. So um, we're also going to be looking at um, left left brain dominance, right brain dominance, um, and the implications of that. Um, and individual learning styles. So in the workshop, it, if anybody who comes to our workshop, it's going to be quite pressurized because we've only got an hour and a half and we want to do loads of stuff. So we, we're looking at the, uh, the different um, areas of the brain, your own individual learning styles, um, using, and, and comparing those using tools that can be used with clients. Because we find, uh, the most, most people are fascinated by themselves actually. And uh, so uh, we, we find that uh, people we work with are, are very interested to discover their own learning style and also the implications that has for people they work with, working in teams and so forth. Um, and, um, and, and then we're going to look at what we mean by task-based learning, what kind of tasks we, and how we can set these tasks up. Because you can go from mini tasks to sort of major simulations. So we're going to be looking at that. Um, and also, we will be, this slightly, this also concurs with, uh, Dignan is also going to be doing a workshop on looking at generic skills. Because we, we conventionally um, divide skills up into presentation and meetings and, and negotiation and so forth. 
but there are a lot of skills that actually run sort of across all these areas. And again, these can be addressed through, through um, task-based learning. So we're going to be looking at, um, we're going to give some ideas for task-based learning frameworks. We we'll also be asking participants in our workshop to share theirs. And then we will look at actually how we exploit the findings of task-based learning and feed it back in such a way that the learning happens and, and that um, our clients can transfer that to their work, work situation. So there, in a very random, as you may have discovered, my particular style is abstract random. I do have to try and make myself a little more concrete sequential when I'm working with uh, technical people. Uh, I'm also married to a totally abstract random person, so we, um, we do have to, to work hard on our presentation styles when we're working with clients. But anyway, if anybody wants to come and have a totally exhausting time, but hopefully a lot of fun, um, <coughs> we invite you to our workshop this afternoon. And I just asked Duncan if there's anything you would like to say to clarify this ramble of mine. I'm just totally exhausted with keeping up. <laughs> I see we've actually finished a few minutes uh, ahead of time, so I don't know if anybody's got any uh, questions they'd like to ask at this point about anything that Rita was saying, or that was on the slides, or maybe that been in both positions. Any questions at the stage? Okay, well, I, if that's okay with you, Marjorie, we'll break a few minutes early. And for those of you who'd like to come along, we'll see you this afternoon. Thank you very much.